Hi, this is Paul from Rita Coffee. I just wanted to quickly do this video just to kind of say about, uh, this is probably the second or third grinder I've had um, customers ask me to fix for them where they've dropped the grinder on the floor. And you can see from this particular one, this is a, this is a J Max, that the point of impact has been here on the adjustment dial. And what that does is it, it kind of, it forces the adjustment dial at an angle and you can't get the burrs out. They're, they're kind of stuck in there solid. You can't move the adjustment dial to, to kind of to take that off, to get the burrs out. Um, and you can kind of see there's a bit of a dilemma at that point. Um, I need to try and get this adjustment dial off to then correct it by putting it on straight again. You can see here where that point of impact is. This is where it's hit the floor and it's pushed this adjustment dial down a little bit and you can see if I turn this kind of where it should be when it gets wider at this point see it's kind of narrower there and then it gets round to the back where it's at its correct height where it should be so it's kind of pushed it down at that angle and it's really on solid so I need to get this off I'm going to try and tap the burrs up with a hammer by putting a, a really a thick soft cloth over that something like this and I can use a hammer to you know just to top that down and usually that'll get the burrs out um, again I would be kind of careful with that it, it works but you know what I'm going to try and do with this is I'm going to try and correct this by kind of doing the same thing by just tapping this down gently on this side and that'll kind of make it fit back into where the bearings are there's three bearings in this that stabilizes this and I want to put that back under the bearing and that'll straighten that and then you know I can get it straight and, and take the burrs out and, and then really get to that properly. The alternative is again is to just try and twist that with all of your strength to try and turn it enough in I believe it's going to be counterclockwise to actually take this adjustment dial off completely. I don't recommend doing that because they're not supposed to come off so you're not guaranteed when you put them back on you're going to put them back in the correct place. Um, again, but if you're desperate about this is kind of how you resolve this this kind of problem and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, right, got the cloth, there's your burrs in the middle here. Now you need to give this a couple of good taps. There, I only, did, I only needed to do that once and it was, you know, it was ready to go. That's your burrs. Okay, and they're ready to come up. Okay, so they're up. And then this, this point now, you can see it's still a little bit, it's not level, so you need to, you know, it's not going to move at that point like that. So I need to, again, tap it very gently because there is, there is some bearings underneath this, so you don't want to damage them in any way. But just a couple of other taps like I've just did with that should be enough to, to get that back in line to allow you to turn it. Now I would suggest that you take this off completely at that point because you want to make sure that it's sitting on your on your bearings equally on each side and you'll see that when it gets to the point it'll just kind of it'll just come off and you'll see the bearings and you just want to place it on top so it's covering the bearings and you can kind of see the little bit just underneath the, the bottom of the adjustment dial and then you tighten it up and it should tighten up you know really straight and go on properly so I'm going to do that again. Okay, um, that took a little bit of effort. Um, it's not so easy sometimes. It, it really takes a little bit of extra, extra kind of effort to get these off when they're stuck. Um, the problem that kind of happens, obviously, with an impact like this, when when it hits the floor, that pushes that in, and it jumps the threads. There's some threads inside here. So obviously, on on this particular one, why it was so difficult to get this off if you look inside here when you're opening your your adjustment dial this thing here at the back it, it'll kind of tell you when that's open because you'll see it's already open but when it's closed that will adjust and you'll see it's kind of closed now the threads inside there this had jumped over one of the threads and it was obviously really difficult to get on um, so what you have to actually do is that's your impact side that's the side that was higher, obviously, you know. So I'll put a, like a fat cloth on there 
and had it tapped it in exactly the right place until it popped and it kind of makes like a, a noise and it's obvious that it's gone back into place you need to be careful doing that again it's not going to come off unless you do something like that but that's what's just happened and it's kind of popped back into place and you see now that is adjusting again and that's that's pretty much fixed at that point now probably won't have to take this off the adjustment dial off to kind of seat it properly it looks like it's turning okay um i don't think there's any kind of resistance there yeah that, that feels okay that actually feels okay it's going to its correct place where you can see the the little squares underneath um yeah that actually feels like it's, it's back in place it's just it's just jumped one of the threads and i think that's okay i'm going to clean this up a little bit for the customer it's a little bit dirty where i think he's been using kind of really dark roast coffee but i'll tidy this up a little bit and i'll put it back together and test it but i think that's that's pretty much it that's that's fixed now okay that's fixed that's been calibrated it's been cleaned and calibrated i took i took the burrs out um give them a little clean up and made sure that the adjustment dial was on you know um stable and hadn't moved in any way um that's okay now obviously i've calibrated and you can see that's right just where it's supposed to be where the top square is just in level with the bottom of the adjustment dial and that's that's ready to go so you can kind of obviously it's got a little bit of play there but it doesn't matter that that feels tight enough for me um yeah so yeah. and then you can open that that's that's okay see your burrs are open and tighten that back up to close your burrs and it comes on to the zero that's the resistance there you can feel that yeah excellent fixed totally fixed i'm pretty sure the, the customer will be happy with that so i'll get that sent out of him but if this is any any use to anybody if you kind of drop your grinder and you're a little bit worried about that maybe you can send it back to your dealer and he can kind of do the same thing for you if you do try to fix this yourself hopefully this guide will kind of help you to understand what's going on just be careful when you're doing it obviously you don't want to damage these threads inside there and you obviously don't want to damage this any more than it is by scratching it or, or making any more kind of dints in there just be gentle with it usually the burrs will come out with a couple of taps that will push those through once those are out you can get better access to what's going on um like i say if it's got impact like that that's going to have jumped the, the threads maybe once on this side it's going to have gone down a little bit and that side will be up a little bit so just go counter to where the impact is on this side it was here and i just tapped that until i heard it click into place and that hasn't it hasn't damaged the threads in any way it's just corrected it and then i could move that right away and then that was it it was fixed basically so yeah hopefully that's that's helpful to you and if you like this video please please subscribe and give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate that and have a good weekend and take care